Hello, it is JJ Douglas here once again. This is my fourth time trying this video here as I have been having a lot of difficulties here because you know the iPhone doesn't give you the pause feature, at least not on this one. Um, without further ado, said, I am going to be making my own WrestleMania match card. I believe I have nine matches that will be on this card. It's going to be one night, not the two nights. I'm going to do one night on mine, or maybe I can split it into two nights, four matches, one night, five matches, the other. We'll see, but I'm predicting it to be one night, but um, here we go. Make sure to check out my other video of my WWE Action Figure Collection. Go check out my live streams. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe. Um, make sure to comment. I love when you guys comment on the videos. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. Go shout out to the other channel, AJW Wrestling, with the best co-owner and the guy who works all the magic mostly on that channel, AJ. Couldn't ask for a better friend, a better person. So if you guys want to go give um, a subscription over to a guy who's a genuinely really good dude, go subscribe to AJW Wrestling as you'll see me on there on SmackDowns and on pay-per-views and on pre-shows. Without further ado, let's get into my WrestleMania match card that I would predict or that I'd make. So first, we would have an eight-man ladder match for the United States Championship. And going into the match, the champ, United States champion going into the match would be Adam Cole. So you have Adam Cole in the match. And I made this match so that way it would absolutely cook. So a lot of it, there's a lot of like, great guys that would... Uh, this would be the match of the night, in my opinion. Um, here's the next guy. We have RVD. I would put RVD in this match. And this match would probably be about a 20-minute match, 22-minute match. Pretty, pretty long money in the bank match, or ladder match, sorry. Um, next, we have Ricky... Starks, I would put Ricky Starks in this match. Um, I feel like Ricky Starks would be a great addition to this match. Along with this man right here, Johnny Wrestling. I would put Johnny Gargano here into this match as well. So there's half the competitors. The next four competitors would be Ricochet. I feel like Ricochet would be another amazing ad addition into this uh, ladder match. Next guy would be Cedric Alexander. So if you guys can't tell what I'm going with here, I'm going with Pure Entertainment. Entertainment and pure like high flyers and great wrestlers. The next guy I would put into the match, the seventh man of the eight, would be Wes Lee. And then the final man into this match, I was thinking of a powerhouse, but I had to put a guy that's actually really good at wrestling entertaining. So I put Keith Lee as the eighth man in this money in the or in this eight man ladder match, United States title. So Adam Cole goes in as the champion, but he does not leave as the champion as Wes Lee would be walking away with the JJW United States Champion um, chip here at the for the first match of the WrestleMania weekend here for JJW. So Wes Lee would stand alone and be your JJW United States Championship or champion. Let me know what you guys think about this eight-man ladder match. Personally, I think this would be the match of the night or at least a sleeper match of the night. Because there's no way that you could have guys like Ricochet, Cedric Alexander, Wesley, and guys like that in this match and not have it be a match that absolutely cooks. Um, which, this match would just get everyone hyped up for the night, get everyone going, get everybody excited for the next matches coming up for the rest of the night. And for the second match of the night, it would be a pretty big match. As it would be probably one of the smaller matches on the card, actually. But to me, this match would be sensational. It would be a luchador match. Uh, match. Winner is known as the best luchador in the world, as I would have Penta El Scuro, or Penta El Zero, and whatever you want to call him, going one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio. And this match would be an absolutely another banger of a match. This match, I'd probably make it about a 10-minute match, probably. 10, 10, yeah, about a 10 to 12-minute match. And the winner coming out would be Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio would pick up the dub here in the second match for my WWE or for my AJJW WrestleMania match card. Now moving on to the third match of the night. This would be another title match. It would be for the tag team championships. Going in, we would have the Usos who would be going after the titles, Jimmy and Jey Uso, and they'd be facing the tag team champions in a tornado tag match, which means everyone is legal at the same time, and that would be the Young Bucks of Nick. And Matt Jackson, um, the, Nick and Matt Jackson versus the Usos. And the men that would win this match, I would have the Usos win the titles from them. So right away, two title changes in the first two title matches here on JJW WrestleMania. This match would be a super kick party, a super kick frenzy. Um, this match would probably be about a 15, 20-minute match as well, as these guys would entertain the hell out of the crowd and keep the crowd going on a roll, making sure they're staying awake throughout these matches. Now, the next match we have is a stipulation match. 
As you see, there is a couple, I'm gonna put down a couple chairs right here. Okay, this chair's broken, so we're gonna put down this chair then. Um, this chair's broken too, but that just, that goes with the theme of this uh, match. It's gonna be the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, going one on one with CM Punk. And this would be a last man standing match. I think with these two huge names here in their company, they've yet to face each other when Cody Rhodes is at the top of his game because once Cody Rhodes left AEW, CM Punk came into AEW, and now they're both in WWE, but now they're on separate brands, and they're both baby faces, and they both have their own things going on in the company. Down the, down the line, I think these two will be facing each other for a title. I think CM Punk will be the heel. Um, I think it'd be an amazing feud. I feel like any punk, any feud CM Punk will get into will be an amazing feud. But coming away with this win, I would actually give it to CM Punk. I would have CM Punk as the heel in this match, and CM Punk would find a way to do Cody Rhodes dirty here in the last man standing match. Like Cody Rhodes would not would keep standing up, but CM Punk would force a way to keep him down. Maybe like trying to assault Brandy or doing something to his brother or doing something about his father, something in that way. Um, and Cody Rhodes, like how they how Dersman did with Edge, how they made Edge say he quit, kind of in that way. Um, but this would make Cody Rhodes stay down. Um, so that'd be a really cool match. Moving on to the next match would be a kind of a middle match. I don't know why I want this match. Probably because these guys are kind of alike. They've had a lot of the same comparisons. We have LA Knight in a one-on-one -on -one match. Just a standard one-on-one -on -one match for no title. But it is going to be against Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, I think this match would be a match that people want to see because Stone Cold's in it. And one of the more popular current superstars are in it with LA Knight. Um, but if this, if people need to go up to get a bathroom break, this would be the bathroom break match of the night, which is crazy to say, because this is one of the biggest, this is a huge match with Stone Cold Steve Austin in it. But if you want to go to the bathroom, go get some snacks, this would be the match that you go and do that with. Okay, we're coming down to the final four matches. So with that being said, the next match would be for the AJ, or for the JJW World Heavyweight Championship, and it would be the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, going one-on-one -on -one with the champion, the world heavyweight champion on my show being Gunther, I think this match would be absolutely sensational. These guys are hard hitting. This would be like Will Ospreay versus Brian Danielson. An amazing match. I wish I had a Will Ospreay figure because I would have put Will Ospreay in this and made this a triple threat match. And that would have absolutely cooked. But, um... The winner of this match would be Gunther. Gunther would retain his World Heavyweight Championship against Brian Danielson in the situation. Um, so, yeah, Brian Danielson versus Gunther. It would be an amazing heck of a match. I would love to see that match in real life. Hopefully one day it does happen. But we're down to the final three matches. And the next match is another title match. That is for the Intercontinental Championship. As it is going to be Orange Cassidy going one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, I don't know why I want to, why I made this match or why I want to see it. Probably because they're both phenomenal wrestlers. Kind of going like with the theme for the whole entire night. But the winner of this match would be Orange Cassidy. He would take the title off of Sheamus in a big underdog upset way because Orange Cassidy's just that guy. But I think this match would be amazing. I was going to put Sheamus in that triple threat match with Brian Danielson and Gunther, but we just saw a bunch of Gunther and Sheamus in real life. And I kind of like my, I want to make my own card kind of getting away from all that. So I think this match should be absolutely sensational, um, which would leave us, this would be match number seven of the night. So we're already seven matches deep at this point. Um, but coming up to the next match, I think the next match would be absolutely phenomenal as well as it would be a casket match. And this is the hardest one. I still don't know who I would want to win this match, but it would be the, um, the Fiend Bray Wyatt versus the demon Finn Balor. I think this match would absolutely feed generations between these two superstars. This match would be about a 30, 40 minute long match. This would probably be a really long match. Um, I don't know who I have winning this, but I do think I would give it to the Fiend um, beating the demon, um, which I think this match would be absolutely be sensational because I'm not doing what they did to the Fiend. This would be Prime NXT Fiend or Prime NXT Demon, sorry, versus The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Um, both these guys and their characters have taken slips through WWE because of WWE's actions. Like, Demon Finn Balor should have beat Edge at WrestleMania 39. And Goldberg shouldn't have beat and basically squashed The Fiend because that makes no sense. Um, 
because Goldberg was old at the time. The Fiend was on a whole nother run. He looked unstoppable. And when they did that to the Fiend, it pretty much made it seem like every other superstar that lost to the Fiend in the way they did was just so weak and didn't mean anything to anybody. But coming up here in the main event is a triple threat match for the JJW World Championship. Um, so first off, the champion, of course, is, like always, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. I think Roman Reigns has to be in the main event of WrestleMania, always and forever. The second man is Seth Rollins. And I think you guys think of where I'm trying to go at here. If you guys can guess the third member, it's not who you think it is. It is not John Moxley or Dean Ambrose. I just put this guy in here because I want to see him. Hopefully he makes a full recovery one day and was able to wrestle again. But I would love to see him versus Seth Rollins. And I would love to see him face Roman Reigns. And I would just love to see all three of these guys in the same ring at the same time. Because I think it would be absolutely sensational. It would be Kenny Omega. If I want, I could have made this a fatal four-way and added AJ Styles into the match maybe. Um, That would have been a bad idea. But Or I could have kept John Moxie in here and made it a four-way. But that still wouldn't have made sense having Kenny Omega in there. Um, But... Having these two superstars would be an absolutely brutal slobber knocker, ladies and gentlemen, as JR would say. Um, but this match would go for probably about 40 minutes to an hour. Honestly, these three guys would give it their all. And coming out on top, it is not Kenny Omega, but your new world champion would be Seth Rollins. I would keep pushing the issue like they do in real life, how Roman Reigns has never been able to beat Seth Rollins cleanly in a one-on-one -on -one match. But with all that being said, anyways, guys, that was my JJW WrestleMania match card. I'm going to try to find a better way to do these setups and stuff like that. I'm probably going to get a GoPro because it'll help a lot. So I'm going to have to hold the phone in my hand. That too, and to make it a lot easier for me to set up things so I could use both my hands to set up everything. Also, some other technical difficulties were happening because this is the fourth time I tried filming this video, guys. Without further ado, said, we're 12 minutes into this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and make sure to comment what you guys want to see in the next video because whatever you guys put in the comments, what you want to see, I will create if I'm able to create that video. Um, make sure to go check out AJW Wrestling. An easier way to find the video is typing in AJW Royal Rumble. And the thumbnail has Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns in the picture. Um, it's the best pick fed on YouTube. I don't care. It's underrated. The best co-owner in the world, AJ. He, he does all the pick fed stuff. He's phenomenal with technology, all that stuff. Wouldn't it be possible without him? Honestly, it really wouldn't because he films it at his house. Because me and AJ live on opposite ends of the country, but we film the show together. Um, that's why it's hard for us to get some stuff done because we're both on different time zones and all that type of stuff. But without me, without I'm going to stop yapping. I'll make sure to like, subscribe to this channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the other channel. Make sure to comment. Make sure to tell other people about this channel because this is going to be a wrestling channel from now on. Not just these wrestling figures, which I know the first two videos are, but I do a bunch of live streams. So if you go over to the live stream tab on the channel, there'll be a bunch of live streams. I'm probably going to go live tonight, actually. So stay tuned around 9, 10 o'clock tonight, and I will be live tonight if AJ can't go live. If AJ can't go live, I'm going to ask him if he wants to do a live around 9 to 10 o'clock tonight. Or maybe a little bit, if we do it with him, it'll be a little bit later. So it'd be about 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time or uh, 8 o'clock Western Standard Time. Without being further said, this is J.J. Douglas. I'm signing out. Peace.